The town of Rockport, Texas, you heard uh, Rob mention Rockport because that is where uh, the storm made landfall. Uh, the, the fire chief there uh, is Steve Sims, and Steve uh, joins us uh, uh, right now on the phone. Uh, chief, it, it looks like your city really took a pretty hard hit, as we're seeing from this early video that came, uh, that came into us after the storm came ashore. I understand at least one building collapsed? Uh, we have we have heard rumors. Uh, uh, as far as myself, uh, we can't really confirm anything right now. Uh, we're still under a pretty high wind. Uh, it's dark. We're only able to get out on the streets yet. Uh, we do know we lost one of our smaller uh, fire stations uh, that was unmanned. Uh, so we're 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 waiting on daybreak. Chief Sims, uh, let me ask you this because, yes, it should the sun should rise there in about an hour, and I'm sure your teams will be out in full force. Have you been receiving phone calls? Tell us what your plan is when the sun does rise. Uh, as soon as, as as the weather permits us, uh, the winds get get anywhere reasonable. Uh, we have been working on lists, pr trying to uh, prioritize the calls that we have waiting. Uh, what we feel like is, you know, first priority and uh we just we got 22 firefighters here on standby so we'll be we'll be out on the ground it is amazing that we can even communicate with you uh, I, I i just want to emphasize this point we're talking to you from a town that took a direct hit from a category four hurricane the strongest storm to hit this country in in 12 years i understand that we're speaking to you on the only working phone line in Rockport. Every other phone line is down, uh, which raises a lot of questions about the safety of those who re remain behind. I, I know you told people they should leave. Uh, did that warning get heated? Uh, not as much as we would have liked. Uh, we'd like to have seen everybody leave, but we know there didn't, you know. Uh, yeah, we are, we, are, we are totally down on all communications. Uh, how this one telephone is still working, uh, maybe the Lord is with us. And Chief Sims, I, I know that you haven't been able to get out and survey the damage uh, yet, but tell us what you heard, what you felt, what you experienced throughout the night, and what your fears are as you do head out later today. Well, the eye of the hurricane, when it made landfall and, and got right here on us in Rockport, uh, we uh, we were were hoping the building stayed together. Uh, it rattled, it shook, uh, but it made it through it. So as soon as daylight gets here, we're gonna start surveying, you know, in close, and then as the wind dies down, we'll start expanding out. Fire Chief Sims speaking to us on the only working phone line out of Rockport, Texas, which has, as we said, just taken a direct hit from a Category 4 hurricane, Hurricane Harvey. Chief Sims, we really appreciate your time on this busy Saturday morning, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck as you attack uh, what is going to be a major job in the days ahead. Uh, we appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.